Hello, uh, my name is Cal, and if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering to yourself, how do I set up the VRM model for VTuber activity, streaming, stuff like that, you know, whatever you want. This is mine, uh, my VRM model, and I have it all set up with uh, everything that it needs. Uh, basically, in this video, we're going to be going over a couple things. The things you need to download. Uh, how you set it up to where the um, avatar is able to, you know, be used as a VRM, and uh, how to set it up with clothing if you have any for the model to where it doesn't, you know, just float around and you know doesn't track with the avatar because that's broken and doesn't work. You have to do it, do something else completely. So let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna unload this scene real quick. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to download the VRM Unity package, and I will have a link to this in my description so you guys can, you know, see where to put it, well, well see where to download it. In my case, we will head over and download the Uni VRM. I, um, I was told not to download this one, um, probably because it doesn't work, so download the Uni VRM. And then once you've downloaded that, you're going to import that into your project. And you should have, you know, this at the top after it's been imported. If you didn't import it right, this won't be here. Um, all right. And then the second thing you need to download, which I will also include a link in my description for, is VC Face. This is the one that I personally use. You don't have to use this one. There are a couple other programs like Warudo, which is on Steam, I believe, and free. Uh, and a couple other things, but besides that, this is what I use because it it makes it easier to you know track gestures. So if I'm like surprised, I can do that. Sad, I can do that. Um, if I'm angry, I can do that. You know stuff like that. All right. So now that we've gone over what we need to download, we can actually begin you know importing things into the project. So we'll have this here, and if you're doing this with a Mayu you can use the Mayu VRM. So you're gonna head into this folder and then you're going to move that into the hierarchy. Now you're gonna notice something about this model. When you double click it, you're going to see the materials that it uses and the shader is not the typical shader you'll see like Pyomi Tune or you know standard shader or um, Pyomi Pro or something like that. You're gonna see VRM slash Mtune. And that is the shader you want to use. Now, in my case, I already have it, the material set up. So we've got the VRM material here for the head and the body, and then my two textures, which I can put in. Um, you would drag the texture over here, put it there. And then for the head, you do the same, drag the texture, put it there. Um, that's basically all set up. Unfortunately, from what I've done in my testing, you can't. You can put a matte cap, but it's not like able to be masked and you're only able to put one. So I personally don't have one set up, but on my actual VR chat avatar, it does have one set up. It doesn't matter though. If you were going to set this up as a actual uh, VRM and this isn't a Mayu, you would simply go over to your shaders and you'd go to VRM and then you'd click M tune. And that would basically be it. If it's the, uh, you know, an avatar that doesn't have this already included. All right, now now that we've gone over how to do that, technically speaking, we could go over and export the Mayu right now if we wanted to and just do export. I'm not gonna do that yet though. So, um, let's see here. Now I'll say we want to add clothes. For example, my Mayu has the Mayu Techware. Um, I would move that over into the hierarchy under and make it a child of the Mayu VRM model. And then, of course, I would have to set it up to where it's using the proper shaders. In this case, it is. Um, probably because I did it on an accident, but you'd go over and go into each one of these. You click VRM, Mtune, VRM, Mtune. And then for tech pants, VRM, Mtune. And that's how you set that up. So, 
Uh, and that's basically the same for any asset you want to use on your avatar. You would need to set it up to where it's using the proper shaders first. Otherwise, you know, it won't work. It won't be able to export. Now, the clothing is a bit weird. If you don't have it like the armature set up to be in here, uh, it's not VRC Fury doesn't work with uh, VRM. So you have to manually put everything in. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, if you don't do this, I'm telling you now, it's not going to be attached to your VR chat model or VTuber model. It's going to be like T-posed. So basically, we're going to take the hips from the armature, and then we're going to just drag and drop that. Of course, I forgot that we actually need to do something first. So whatever clothing you're using, you're going to head over to the prefab section, and then you're going to unpack it completely. Once that's done, now you can head over to the armature, you can go to hips, and then move that on. Once you've gone to the hips, you open that up, you move the butt, and since the butt has a cheek left, you move that in, and that's the end of cheek left. Do the same for cheek right, and the butt is complete. Then the hips has a spine part, so we'll move the spine over here. That's the chest part, so we'll move the chest over there. It has a breast armature, so we'll move that in there. It has breast left, move that there, and a breast right, which we'll move there. So now the chest, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah okay, so now the breasts are done, we can move the neck into the proper armature, which is the end of that one. And then we can do the same for the shoulder left, which has an upper arm left and a lower arm left along with a hand left and once we've done that we can close that out so the shoulder R we'll put that here which has an upper arm right which has a lower arm right and a hand right there is probably some sort of plugin that you can have for Unity that does this automatically. I will not be doing that because not everyone knows how to set that up. And I don't feel like doing that. So now, once we've done the chest part, we can move on to the tail root. We'll just put that there. And since the tail root doesn't have anything else part of it, we don't got to worry about that. Um, then we can move the upper leg left, which has a lower leg left and a foot left and that one's done and then the also has an upper leg right which has a lower leg right and then a foot right and of course it doesn't have a toes right because why, why would it have toes and once that's done there should be nothing left inside this armature and then everything should be set up properly so now that that's all set up properly we can move on to exporting the VRM model. So you would have to do this with every single asset you use. If you have an asset that has bones or an armature, you would need to manually move it into the armature for the value VRM. So now that we've done that, we can grab this prefab, put it in the export, and then we can export it. Let's call this mayututorial.vrm. I've already made one from a previous attempt at this video, so we're going to replace that and wait for this to finish. Okay, and now that it's done importing, we can simply head into the VC face. So I already have one open because I'm using it right now. Let's just open up a new thing. Um, similar, in this would be similar in nature to using Warlido or anything else. You'd add an avatar, and then you would do Mayu. You'd find the, you know, VRM file. You'd open it, and then you press start. 
And now we've got two things. <laughs> I'm going to close one of these. Okay. Let me sit. Now we've got our things. You can do a couple things like general settings. You can set up everything you need. Um, I have a background image or stuff like that. And I have experimental expression detect detection turned on in case you want to set that up for automatically and then uh, you can change the settings on how much you want it to move or whatever you want stuff like that now if you want to do in like a discord call or you need the virtual camera you're going to need to un you're going to need to install a virtual camera and then restart the program and then enable the virtual camera and that should allow you to use it all right that's pretty much everything so um, that's it for this video um, I hope this was helpful and you guys were able to figure it out with me and uh, I will see you all later peace